So there are two very commonly seen invasive ant species in the southern United States. And one is the fire ants, the other is the Argentine ants. Right next to me here, this is a fire ant mount. And not too far from me, right there, there is a uh, Argentine ant colony. So you can see they pretty much live right next to each other. It's 4 p.m. in the afternoon right now. I can see there are a lot of active Argentine ant workers being busy, just doing what they want to do. But you almost don't see any fire ant workers outside a colony. So these two species are pretty much in direct competition with each other. So I uh, set out to do a few mini experiments to kind of see what kind of interaction would go on between the two species. I put some food near these two fire ant colonies two hours ago, and this one is occupied by the fire ant workers. But this one, which is near the Argentine ant colony, is occupied by the Argentine ants. Even though the two species live closely together, there is very little physical fighting between them. Instead, they appear to be repelled by the scent and venom of the other species. Then I wonder what would happen if I forced them to fight in a close arena. So I put some Argentine ant workers in a dish and put in roughly the same number of fire ant workers and just let them fight and videotape the entire process. Just like what I saw in the field when they encountered the other species, they quickly become super excited, running around like crazy. They started to display this gaster flagging behavior, which is a way to spread venom onto the enemy ants. You can see that both the fire ants and the Argentine ants display this behavior. But as we know, the competitive advantage of Argentine ants comes from their super coloniality and their huge numbers. They don't bite or sting, so this gas they're flagging is pretty much the only defense they have. If a fire ant worker captures an Argentine ant worker, the fire ants can quickly kill or at least disable the Argentine ant worker. After about 10 minutes, I can tell the fire ants are winning, and in an hour or so, the Argentine ants are pretty much gone. There is only like one or two Argentine ants still hanging in there. And I let them fight for a second round, this time with a little bit more ants in the dish. Again, if an Argentine ant gets caught by a fire ant, it will be the end of life for the Argentine ants. A study from 2008 showed that the gas to flagging of fire ants is enough to kill Argentine ant workers. I could agree with the results based on what I saw in the video. Many Argentine ants in the dish never got stung by the fire ants but still end up dying. Another thing I noticed is that not too long after they start fighting, they somehow got glued to other ants. And I'm thinking it's probably because of all those venom they sprayed or sticky and make the ants glue to each other. The Argentine ants actually disappeared in my area for a few years, but now they came back and have re-established to run Athens. Let's just see how things play out and, and how long they can coexist with the fire ants this time. 